Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. You are the minister in charge. You are the minister in charge of Faith and Grace Church. You are the minister in charge of my life. Without the Spirit of God, we are empty. Amen. Christ says, without me, you can do nothing. That is why he gave us his Spirit. Without his Spirit, you can do nothing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We still want to continue looking at the, the, the Holy Spirit, the minister in charge of the church. And when we say the minister in charge of the church, it's not just faith and grace church alone, but that is the intention. When, when God in his wisdom battered his church in the hand of the Holy Spirit himself, God our master Jesus when he wanted to establish his church he put the church inside the Holy Spirit that is baptizing immense the church inside the Holy Spirit so the church cannot operate without the Spirit of God you know when you see churches hearing all sorts of things all sorts of news you know today people have no regard for the church of God but that does not stop what the church is meant to be. The church of Jesus Christ is still the church of Jesus Christ. Christ says, I will build my church. Upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. There's so much ranting from the pit of hell against the church of Jesus Christ. But the church of Christ, Jesus Christ is still waxing stronger and stronger. Amen. Why? Because the church is inside, immersed and baptized inside the Holy Spirit of God. And what is the church? Who is the church? You and I. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are the assembly of saints makes the church. So you are expected to be inside the Holy Spirit. Immersed inside the Holy Spirit, inside and out. Just like the fish inside the river. Once you put the fish outside, that fish, just keep that fish for a few minutes, that fish will not be able to survive. Because it can't get enough oxygen, it cannot get enough water to flow, it cannot survive. That is why you see a lot of things, when you see some churches being, I mean, talked about anyhow, these are people who have strayed out of the world living water the holy spirit amen, amen. praise the lord Hallelujah. praise the lord Hallelujah. may the grace of god keep us inside the holy spirit amen, amen. and the holy the, the, the church being inside the holy spirit is not just for nothing see god see what christ told them in acts 1 a very popular scripture and we just want to explain that scripture a little bit. Acts 1 8. It says, But you shall receive power. Everybody say power. power. Say you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. In other words, you have no power when you have no Holy Spirit. Is that not? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me with that simple you know statement? If God says but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. It means up till now you have no power of the Holy Spirit. Or you don't have power because the Holy Spirit has not come upon you. Is that clear? I think that is very simple. Amen. And you shall be my witness. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I mean, Passion Translation says, but I promise you this. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and you will be seized with power. You will be seized. Another version says, you will be endued. You will be clothed with power. Amen. But it says you will be seized. In other words, before you operate on your own, but when the Holy Spirit of God comes, He will seize you to operate at His own level. 
Amen. You will be my messengers to Jerusalem throughout Judea, the distant provinces, even to the remotest places on earth. We are the people in the remotest places of the earth. So when the Holy Spirit of God comes upon the church, you know, this is the work. Let's, let's explore this power a little bit. You know, this power in, in, in Greek simply means the, the word power in English is actually from the Greek word dunamis. Everybody say dunamis. dunamis. Say dunamis. dunamis. You know, we need to know the root of this word because it's very important so that you know what you are to carry and you are not carrying or what you are carrying and you may not know the depth of it. Every Christian is entitled to dynamics. Amen. Because once you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, you are seized with power. You are clothed with power. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you can see dynamics in Greek refers to strength, power, or ability. You know, when Jesus told his disciples or the apostles that, you know, he said, before you go out to begin to witness for me, make sure you are in tune with the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, tarry ye in Jerusalem. Wait, wait for the power. Wait, wait for the ability. Wait for the strength because your work as Christian, your work requires power. Because there will be a lot of forces that will contend with you. There will be a lot of, you know, opposition. There will be a lot of people that will run you down. There will be a lot of people that will shout you down. Amen. Amen. You know, it almost happened to Peter on the day of Pentecost. They, all, they, they, they almost shouted him down. You know? If not for the power of God, the dynamics that was upon him, when the disciples, when they began to speak in tongues and they begin to, I mean, and the people saw them, the crowd came around, said, "What? Well, these people are drunk. So what is wrong with them? You know, they wanted to, they started mocking them. If you don't carry the power of God, these dynamics, they will mock at you. They will they will just they will shut you down. They will mess you. You they will mess you up. But you need the power. Tell your neighbor you need the power. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he knows that look, even from day one of the birth of the church, they are ready to shut down the, the church. They, they are ready to see what these people, this drunkard. He said it's too early. Yeah? These people are drunk already. See them saying bloody. Some of them say, look, I hear them speak our language. These people cannot be drunk. But because the power of God was upon Peter, for God's sake, he stood up. He stood up. The Bible says he stood up. It takes the power of God, it takes dynamis for you to be able to stand in the face of a crowd of over 3,000 people. To say, look here, these people are not drunk. This is according to the promise of God in the book of Joel. You know, Peter stood up spontaneously. He stood up without preparing any sound. Peter stood up and began to speak. He was speaking with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor you need the power of the Holy Spirit. You need to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this dunamis in English simply means strength. You need strength. You need power. You need that ability. And in fact, from this word, dunamis is where we have the root, is the root word for the English word, dynamite dynamic you know so when this power comes upon you you become dynamic in your ministry you become dynamic in your work with God you know that is where the word comes in praise the Lord Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Please tell your neighbor you need the power. Tell your neighbor you need the power. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In when the power came on the day of Pentecost, you know, the Bible says in Acts chapter 2, verse 4, it says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, as time goes on, we begin to learn, begin to teach ourselves the depth of the importance of speaking in tongues and all that. Praise the Lord. But on that day, the Bible says that event that happened on the day of Pentecost was something that attracted a very big crowd of people in Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And now, I want to note that because Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, it was that singular reason that can make him to preach. And over you know, about 3,000 souls, you know, were converted in one day. This power must be great. This power must be unique. This power must be, in fact, another version called heavenly power. It takes heavenly power to do that. And that is the power that belongs to the church. And when I mean church, that's the power that belongs to you and I. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And my prayer is that on this at this service, God is going to impart us Amen. as we begin to pray to God. Amen. In verse 10, in verse 40, the Bible says, Peter preached to them and warned them with this word, be rescued from the wayward and perverse culture of this world. Those who believed in the world that, that day, in number three thousand, they were all baptized and added to the church of God. Praise the Lord. As we begin to operate, as we begin to live our life, as we begin to, to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, there will be, I mean, we become more dynamic in our walk with God, in our, in our Christian life. It is not inside the church, four corners alone, that you need the power of the Holy Spirit. You need the power of the Holy Spirit in your daily living. Amen. You see, if you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit operating in you, and you operating in the power of the Holy Spirit, Satan and his agents will mess you up. And Jesus, the head of the church, does not want his own disciples to be messed up by Satan. Jesus wants the church or members of the church to be seen by demons, by powers that be, that when they see us as Christian, they are the ones supposed to tremble. It is not you who should run away from demons. Demons are supposed to run away from you. When they see you, they should shake. They will begin to shake. That is what God wants. But it's now it's like reverse is the case. You know, many of some of us, if we see cockroaches fly at night, say they are gone. You know? For heaven's sake. That is why we all need the fire of the Holy Ghost. If cockroaches flies around fire, what will happen? That cockroach must burn. Is it not? And that is what we're supposed to be. Amen. Amen. That's why we are going to pray today for the power to, I mean, that fire to, to ignite us. That God will set us ablaze. Amen. 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 That, that today we are going, going to take some time to pray today. And because in this month of May, you know, we have entered into our season of amazing testimonies. Amen. But you need the power of God so that Satan will not cut short your testimony. Amen. Amen. So that Satan will not cut short your joy. So that Satan will not, I mean, mess you up. Amen. Amen. 
Tell your neighbor, Satan will not mess me up. Satan will not mess me up in the mighty name of Jesus. I say Satan won't mess you up in the mighty name of Jesus. When you see these apostles after they have received the power of God, they became very bold. You know, the, 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 the spirit of God is in, in, in First Timothy 1 7. The Bible says, For he has not given us the spirit of Second Timothy 1 7. He said, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, or he has not given us the spirit of timidity, but of the spirit of power, of love, and of sound mind. Amen. The spirit God has given us is the spirit of power. The spirit, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of power. In fact, the Holy Spirit is the power of God on earth today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Right. Peter and John feel with boldness with, to witness for Christ. You know, when you move to chapter 3 of the book of Acts, you know, the book of Acts talks about the early church, the acts of the apostles in the early church. You will see Apostle Paul and Apostle Peter and John, they come to the gate called Beautiful. They were going for, for evening service. And they got to the gate. They saw a man who is always there. You know, been there for a long time. You know, they always carry him there collecting money from the people. But Peter got there and said, look, silver and gold I do not have. But what I have, I give you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He used the power, the dynamis of God to demonstrate to this one that look, there is a power that can lift you up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it takes boldness of God to be able to operate. Many of us will say, ah, if, I, if, I, if I pray now, will you be able to get up? See what happened. In fact, by the time Peter prayed, do you know that the guy did not did not get up? What did he do? He put him up. Amen. Somebody needs to be pulled up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for your faith, uh, Sister Twin. Thank God for your faith. But it, 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 it takes faith to be able to tell the doctor and say, look here, I pray my, my, my child will walk. Everything will be okay. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need to operate. I mean, faith requires dynamis. Praise the Lord. We have not been given the spirit of fear, or the spirit of doubt, or the spirit of timidity, but of power. Amen. Of 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 love and of sound mind. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, if you are, for example, acting to the voice of the so-called. Thank God for men for, for, for science. We we'll have been following yeah, this thing I've been carrying bottle about and all that. Before you know it, a child of three will still be carrying about bottle of. But God, what, what he does is whatever he hear, hear you speak, I will do for you. He will say, Your child will walk, I will walk. He will say, You will eat, you will eat. You say, I don't need that thing in the body. You will not need it. Because the maker of the heaven and earth, the one who created everything in us, has the power to fix it. Amen. And that's the power, that's the God we are connected with. Praise the Lord. And that's why I pray that we begin to operate more and more in this realm of the power which God has given us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Peter, you know, was filled with the boldness. And you know that that thing became a, a, I mean, a big noise in the land that when they have seen this guy, and when Peter pulled him up and began to walk, and even even then, people still don't believe that this can this thing be. And you know the the elders, the leaders of the, the Pharisees, they gathered against them and began to persecute them. But there was power. There was power. The power of the Holy Spirit. Let's look at chapter 4 of that book of Acts. Let's look at chapter 4 of the book of Acts. Of verse 3 first. Let's, let's check that story in chapter 3 from verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I gave you. 
In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. Another version said, and power surged into him. You know, the kind of power entered into that one and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. You will receive strength in every area of your body. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I say receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that is weak. Everything that is that is not as God has created it. I say receive life by this word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord with me. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Verse 8. So he leaped. He, leap, he leaping up. Stood and walked. And entered. You know what it means? That this guy for say, 38 years now, this guy has never walked in his life. So he cannot know how to walk. You know, one day I was during this COVID uh, crisis last year you know just to let you know that look even someone at an old age can begin to learn how to walk may we not get stuck into that situation Amen. a professor i mean of medicine highly respected in uk you know is a black man an african man nigerian this man was caught by covid 19 and he was hospitalized the whole UK, they were the old doctor. They have to struggle to get this man okay so that COVID will not take him out. Do you know that he was on bed for several weeks? And by the time he came out, he has to learn how to walk. That just to tell you that, look, what Peter did here doesn't mean that, look, he, the healing has not taken place, but this guy has to learn how to walk. The Bible said he was leaping because it's strange for him to walk. Amen. We will not get devastated or destroyed to the level whereby you begin to learn how to walk. Amen. May the infirmity, the sickness that will make you not to know how to walk again, may not come upon you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And walking and enter the temple with them. Walking, leaping, and praising God. Walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging hands at the beautiful gates of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. And that is how the testimony that God will give you will be. By the time you stand before the congregation of people and give the testimony of what God has done for you, it will become an amazement. Amen. People will hear it and it will become viral on Facebook. Amen. That there is God that is God, God of wonders, and he has done your own. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I speak and I prophesy to the life of every one of you hearing the voice, my voice right now that you will have a testimony Amen. that will become viral on Facebook, Amen. on YouTube, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is not only all those funny, funny news that, 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 that becomes viral on Facebook. Your own will be different. Amen. You will break the rule Amen. of viral news on, 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 on the Facebook or on the YouTube or the social media in the mighty name. You say, this is the Lord's dream. It is marvelous in my eyes. Amen. Amen. They will begin to look for your God. Amen. And they will serve your God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's look at, at chapter 4. Hmm. This thing did not go down well with, 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 the, with the leaders of the land. Chapter 4, the Bible says, Now as they spoke to the people and the priests, the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came up upon them and be greatly disturbed that they taught the people and preached in Jesus the resurrection from the dead and they lay hand on them you know they have to persecute for doing good work 
like that. But what happened? That did not stop them. That is one good thing about dynamics. Because God knows that by the time God does wonders in your life, some people will castigate you. They say this is fake. But by the power, by the dynamics inside of you, you'll be able to stand. <laughs> say it is the Lord who has done again my captivity. This is the Lord's doing. It is God who has done it. Amen. Verse 8, the Bible says, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people, elders of, uh, of Israel, filled with the Holy Spirit, he face them. When the power comes, you will be able to face the rulers of the land. This same Peter, who could not face a little girl, on the day Christ was was going to the cross, he denied Jesus Christ three times. Little girl, little girl. That one said, "Ah, this one was so alone." He said, "God forbid, I don't know him." In fact, the second time he had to swear, he had to look. You know, now I'm uh, going to look to to swear. In fact, I'm. The third time, he, he, he put himself on the cross. If I know him, let something evil happen. See the same Peter, the same Peter, when the power has come, he was able to stand before the rulers, before the kings. You know, when the power of God comes upon you, because of the spirit of boldness and the spirit of, it's an excellent spirit, you'll be able to speak. In fact, by the time Peter spoke, he said, they wonder, where did he get this power, this boldness? And he has no letters. Oh, they remember he used to be with Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, Peter that denied Jesus, people know that, look, this guy was with Jesus. Have you been with Jesus? If truly you are with Jesus, if truly you are the disciple of Jesus, you're supposed to carry this power. Amen. We're supposed to walk in this boldness. We're supposed to walk in this power. Praise the Lord. Today, by the grace of God, God is going to give us, I mean, a fresh touch of this power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Before we go into prayer session, I want to give you opportunity if you have not given your life to Jesus. Because without Jesus, no Jesus, no power. No Jesus, no power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So if you are not giving your life to Jesus, you have an opportunity to do so. You are online or you are here, wherever. If you have not totally surrendered your life to Jesus, that power cannot work. You can't. You cannot because it's a power that comes from heaven. And if you, um, if you want to give your life to Jesus, because without this power, without the Holy Spirit, it means there is no seed, there is no... There is no seal in you to show that, look, Jesus is coming back for you. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to say this short prayer with me. You say, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Please forgive me. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Now help me to live for you the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. And if you have said this prayer, you have an opportunity to receive this power. Because when you genuinely make this prayer and declare it, I mean, a deposit of the power of the Holy Spirit has been deposited in you. And you can have more as you are baptized in the Holy Spirit. And you need to join yourself to a Bible believing church. Make sure you join yourself to a Bible believing church wherever you are. It is very, very important. Because you cannot be a Christian alone. You cannot be a Christian on your own alone. You need to join other brethren. And if you are used to it in America, if you are in Bishonet, why not join yourself with Faith and Grace Church? Where the word of God is being preached, and you, you 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 will grow as disciple of Jesus Christ, and your life cannot remain the same. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. I say your life cannot remain the same. 